Hello, my name's Abba. Welcome to Two and a Half Friends. Nailed it. Yeah, if you say, we always like to start with a joke and then tell us your best joke. We always like to start with a joke and tell your best joke. Ah. <laughs> Is that your best joke, sticking your tongue out at us? Ben, that is. So you need to press pink now, so oh. we can do the countdown. <laughs> Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for tuning in. <laughs> That's one of my favourite things. Why? What were they? Well, you see, like in one of the highlight videos, it's like, <laughs> and I get it wrong. Oh, in our thing. Thanks yeah. you here. That's fine. Oh, wow, what a blast! That what was a blast. It. I didn't say blast. <laughs> I no, that was I'm replaying <laughs> it. Oh, you're such a dick. Oh, talking of dicks. Wow, that looks really cool. Great, that neon sign looks so cool. Is that a studio space for us? It is. All of that for us? For us? For us? Wow. Good job. Season two. We've made it. We have been recommissioned by ourselves <laughs> for season two of Two and a Half Friends. Back by popular demand because yeah. we don't... We don't have anything else to do on a Tuesday. Both of our listeners said, we want more, guys. That's my, I don't know if I mentioned my bedroom is above the garage. And well, there's someone in your bedroom? Yeah, there is. My daughter will probably be going in there because it's her bedtime. and she'll be. You've got children in your bedroom? <laughs> yeah, my child. Oh, oh no, that's I know what you're trying to make me. It's not that funny when you say that. No, no, but it's also not funny when you try and say that oh, I've got children in my bedroom. You well, do. yeah, Certainly my child. Okay, all right. All right. <laughs> yeah. I don't know where this is going. <laughs> Jail. <laughs> <laughs> Dan Crosby. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh. So we're back. <laughs> You've got us for a bit longer. A bit. <laughs> well, a bit longer. Well, Lucky you. Um, until they, until they, they tune out. a specific listener that you wanted to... Yeah. Wow. Sorry, yeah. that's a fat child you've got up there. Wow. <laughs> you're calling my daughter fat that's coming through the wow. ceiling if, it sounds like you've got Bruce Bogtrotter yeah. in your bedroom that's right. we're allowed to think it you're not allowed to say that to us though she said the same thing about you actually. <laughs> you are a fat child <laughs> when, when's fat Uncle John coming round <laughs> what did you say he's round enough <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's, our, good that's our joke that's our joke honestly. what you've done is essentially you've you thought you wasn't round enough so you're going to shave your head I don't know why I've done it so it's fully round spherical like yeah. a Cole just Pilkington had, I, I had this thing in my head where I feel I'm going to shave my head okay. and then as soon as I put the shaver yeah <laughs> razor. razor it wasn't a razor okay All right. so oh I, the clippers yeah the clippers, yeah, the clippers. That's, that's yeah, yeah, yeah. as soon as I put them to my head yeah within 0.5 seconds I regretted my decision but was then obviously committed yeah so it was either that or go for a Mohican. And you're thinking of changing your job to a minty, uh, <laughs> a minty like impersonator. Impersonator. Yeah, yeah. Yes, look alike. Yeah. yeah. They do. There's a really good. There's a really good David Brent look alike. Yes. Yeah, so goes around and stuff as well, doesn't yeah. it? Yeah. Yeah, but people know who David Brent is. Yeah, people know. Min- who? Well, we both knew who Minty was. So in terms of us three, that's one hundred percent of people. Yeah. yeah. If I if I turn up, basically his role. In EastEnders was mechanic. as a mechanic. Yeah. So I, if I just bowl, basically just bowl around, turning up to events in yeah. dungarees yeah. with yeah. covered in oil. Yeah. yeah. Right. People can go, oh, you're minty. No, they would. Oh no, they probably say you're mental. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Sorry. <laughs> yeah. Mental. yeah. Yeah. Which is ironic. What you said, you because you said you thought I was having a Britney Spears yeah meltdown breakdown. Oh, I, I I shaved my head during lockdown. Yes. And <laughs> my partner was so repulsed, she made me wear hoodies until no. I came back. That was because you was really fat. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and bald. She was repulsed anyway. The baldness pushed her over the head. No, uh, touche. Touche. <laughs> yeah, my head, I look like a, a... This is, an, again, another niche reference, but you see the fun men in, in uh, Spy Kids? No, no, never watched that. No, no, okay. Well, it's a great film. You should watch it. We've got okay. children. Why are you watching it? Yeah, why are you? Because yeah, I was a child. <laughs> I was okay, a child. Yeah. Oh, that, that checks out. Okay. Exactly. That does check out, Makes actually, yeah, yeah. It may have been a long time since you were children, but I was only, was only 20 years ago. Watching it with snacks, obviously. I'm so old. What? Watching it with snacks. I was yeah. a skinny child. What's that? It was when I went to university and discovered cocaine and kebabs. <laughs> you can't say, say kebabs. Ke- <laughs> <laughs> you can't I say kebabs on this. Yeah. <laughs> no, you're right, you're right. Also, those two things don't go together. Well... It was just kebabs. No, no, no. I said cocaine because so I thought it made me look cooler, but now I'm unemployed. <laughs> I'll just have to cut all that. <laughs> all of that. All of that out, <laughs> to be honest. Why? Cocaine's not like I that. Don't... Stop saying cocaine. Yeah. Oh, it'd be good if we can have 
some some uh, footage that we can use, <laughs> actually. Okay. Okay. Should we start that again? Then I'm out. We'll just leave no, the. You can still. You you could do the same joke, but just don't use the the c word. I went to university and discovered kebabs. That's basically when I put all oh, the weight on. Okay. Yeah. That was eight years ago. So okay. it wasn't as funny though, was it? Without no. that, no, it wasn't no. as funny. <laughs> also, the, also the the drug that you mentioned <laughs> is notorious. No, not notorious. No. Notorious for not eating. For for it's known for making you skinny. Yeah, which is how you know I didn't take it. No, so he was lying. Yeah, telling the truth about the kebabs. Yeah, oh, definitely. definitely. OD'd yeah. on them most nights. What you meant was kebabs and kebabs. <laughs> yeah. yeah, double kebab every night. Yeah, with a full bottle oh, of coke probably. <laughs> Meat and chips. You sign me up. Coca Cola. I'm sat here salivating over the floor. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, I'm actually hungry now. Yeah, thinking about. We were meant to order pizza. We didn't do that. Oh. Sorry about that. Don't but, you order it. Well, don't you order it? Yeah, it won't ever come. Yeah. It won't ever arrive. <laughs> no, that's a joke, though, isn't it? That, that I got tried to order takeaway yesterday, and the delivery driver just stole my food. So, well, hang on, you're you're just what did that might not have happened. Well, it did. What you know, dear? I you the you restaurant. Found, oh, he said, "Oh, he picked it up half an hour ago." He might have delivered it to the wrong person. That can happen. He's a fucking idiot. <laughs> is he either eating my food or is a fucking idiot? Well, I don't know if they're the only two options. Okay, give me another one. He's delivered it to the wrong person. But he's an idiot. No, he might have just gone... Okay, you might live in... As an example... I don't, know, I don't even address because I don't care where you live. I don't, I've never been invited for a start. You could live in Victoria Street, mm. right? And he could have put the postcode in and it could have come up Victoria Road. And he's gone to number three well, Victoria no, the Road. The postcode would go to Victoria Street. All right, we didn't pay the postcode. He didn't have the postcode then. All right, okay. so I'd... You, yeah. Okay. So it's your fault for not giving him the postcode, you, which yeah. he had. He, he, he might have had the postcode, yeah, didn't no, put the did. postcode, and then he's putting, oh, it's free Victoria, I know where that is, and he's gone to road instead of street, and then he's knocked on the door, and someone said, oh, brilliant, free pizza. Yeah. And they've taken it, and he's like, brilliant, I've done oh. my delivery, I'm happy. So he's an idiot. Because if he no, put not the his... postcode in, then it is his fault, isn't it? Because if you just put the postcode in... No, it's the people's he... fault who took the pizza. They shouldn't have took the yeah, pizza. Yeah, but he should have given them the opportunity. If somebody said to me, do you want free fried chicken? I'm like, fucking, yes, I do. Did you order it? Of you yes, I did. In my prayers, I ordered it, and then you eat it. That'd be a weird thing. If someone knocked on your door and said, do you want some free chicken? And you said, in my prayers... That would be weird, wouldn't it? I'd take the chicken back. I also, think. Well, uh, there's no way I'm taking like, chicken well, from a stranger. I bet it's not ordered. Ordered. Also, I guess if you hadn't... No, I mean, you'd assume he's from one of the companies. He didn't say that. Just, not just he, just, he, just he, just he didn't someone, say that. He just said someone knocked on my door asking if I wanted free away. chicken. It could have been a Jehovah's Witness. That's how they get you. Yeah. Chicken. Chicken. In my prayers, like, oh, it's all right, you've already, yeah. already committed. Oh, come here. Have you heard about God? <laughs> well, obviously, I'll pray, I'll pray to him for chicken. I didn't pray for him to save my dad. Does that didn't work? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> well, you need to stop bringing up my dad, actually. You brought him up? Yeah. Yeah, yeah I did too. Yeah, too we were talking about chicken. I don't know how you got... <laughs> yeah, I don't know. You got onto your oh, yeah, dad. I don't know. Too, you didn't even... Yeah. Shoehorned him in. He used to always do that. Shall I tell you when we will stop making jokes about your dad? Yeah. When your mum dies. Because then we'll have new material. <laughs> Let's hope it's soon. <laughs> well, no, listen. listen no, no, I'll I'll not have milk. This is for another... <laughs> Milk what? No, mum. If you could stay around, that'd be great. <laughs> what are you milking? Ricky's mum. <laughs> yeah, we was all thinking it, so I thought I'd just say it, and then it's out there. But I've never met her. I don't. Is she sexy? I don't, I don't think the fact. I don't think you're ever going to meet. Does she look like you, but just a bit older? No. Similar, t- similar tits. <laughs> and a perm. Oh, wow. Similar tits and a perm. And you was going to get a nose ring and an earring. And a tash. <laughs> she's got a tash. tash. She does have a tash. She has a tash. No, she doesn't. That's the final rule. I'm not going to say whether she's fit or not. Because you're not going to say if you she's fit or not. <laughs> what? Like, there's weird. no winning here. Yeah. Yeah. She's a munter. What do you want me to say? Well, not that. Just say she's a lovely lady. She yeah. Just say she's a lovely she's lady. A yeah. Saint. Some would say a saint. And when you go introduce her to Dan, you know the first thing he's going to think about is milking her. And her moustache. <laughs> or we'll looking directly at her top lip. She got it waxed. Just to say, she got it waxed. <laughs> Did she get anything else waxed? Does she main, I would know. Maintain, I would know. maintenance. Uh, talking of waxing, uh, why don't we just say this on the podcast that we have to do it. At some point, we're going to have a wax. Yes. Of, yeah. of, I, I, yeah. of us, not of your mum. We're not getting your mum to... Your no. mum's not going to Although if she is up for a bikini wax, <laughs> then I know two fellas who would... Two and a half. <laughs> you, you're enjoying it! <laughs> you can do it back. Oh. <laughs> That's what... Spread them over. <laughs> <laughs> 
Oh, that's horrific. If you could that just is, squat mum, mummy. That is. Do you call her mummy or? No, no. <laughs> call her Lisa. You call her li- mummy Lisa? Not mummy Lisa. I call just her Lisa. Lisa yeah. Do you call your mum Lisa? Yeah, sometimes. Rather than mum? Depends on the, uh, on the mood. Did you call your dad Roy or... Yeah. Dead dad. Yeah. Oh, dead know. dad. There's got to be a funnier joke yeah, there, but cause, I don't Because he, he was alive. Hello, dead dad, when he was still alive. Yeah. <laughs> no, we didn't like kicking it That's why we write your jokes. <laughs> <laughs> he changed his number and <laughs> ran away. Understandably. If I'd have met you when you was free, I'd have fucked off probably. No, he went to rehab. He didn't have a choice. Wow, that's fucking wrong. <laughs> that's, that's, that's killing it. Is that true? <laughs> yes. He went to rehab. Yeah. What for? Rehabilitation for the for kids the... stuff. <laughs> no, that's not. It's not a paedophile. It's just an alcohol. Well, he wasn't alcoholic. Oh, I feel terrible now. Yeah. Sure. What was his? I don't know if you can you ask questions. <laughs> what do you mean? Like just about, I don't really know much about. So you suddenly grown a conscience after two <laughs> seconds ago. You just going spread them, <laughs> Lisa. I'm going to wax you. My I'm milking his mum while looking at her tash. And now all of a sudden you're like, no, oh, actually, I probably shouldn't say that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> anyway, it's just how my mind works. It's it's thinking of all the stuff. It's now thinking of all the stuff I can't say. Should say, we t- say something? Oh, I don't know. It's all gone. It's all gone now. Should we talk about the new set? For the yeah. visual. Well, the new part of the set. New part, yeah, well, we've stuck some tiles up, basically. It very much is in keeping with, so we've got two and a half friends, we've now got half a set. Mm. So we are, we're getting we there. Two. We just We are, because, was it that they, you undercooked how much we needed? Uh, no, it wasn't, actually. I, I knew that we needed more than this, mm. but uh, the ones that we liked, so we, we specifically wanted this colour, which is black, <laughs> um... And because black is the most popular colour, they were literally sold out. Okay. Uh-huh. So they had three boxes, and I thought, well, I'll buy, I'll, or not boxes, but three packs. So I thought, I'll, it's I'll not buy just them. aesthetics either, is it? It's not just to make it look pretty. It's not just aesthetics, no, Steve. Uh, it is Steve. soundproofing. Uh, this we'll bad boy is soundproof now. Off, so. Yeah, yeah don't yeah. probably touch them. It will do, because that was the one one that you put up. One, one. No, I did the one over here that you can't see because it's, it's behind me. Because it's falling down. Yeah. But yeah, so we're, we're in the process of changing it uh, over the course of the kind of the next seasons. It's probably going to change quite a bit. Yes, there'll be lots of more well, additions. Well, you say quite a bit. It's just that we're going to have some more tiles. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> probably we're going to... No, we're just going to get... Oh yeah, I don't yeah, yeah, yeah. It. Don't spoil yeah. it. Don't spoil, yeah. it. No, no, don't spoil, don't spoil it for the audio listeners that yeah. won't visually see what we're changing. Yeah. Definitely say we're going to get other things. So for the audio listeners, you have we've just now got some black tiles, essentially um, a poster and Ricky's dad's eulogy, eulogy yeah, which, which I think is, will which go is new. That's, that's always been there. that's always been there, but I think we'll have that in the set. Um, that's a mainstay forever. Yeah, one hundred percent. It's probably the most consistent he's ever been. <laughs> it's the longest he's stuck around for. <laughs> it is. <laughs> it is. <laughs> oh, that's awful. Oh, I, so I actually don't. Oh, I don't. I don't feel guilty in any way, <laughs> but I feel like I should feel not, guilty. Not at all. Not one little bit. No, because he's dead. You don't know I'm taking the piss out of him. Yeah, you can say but that. Does, he's here. He knows. Yeah. He knows. Yeah, yeah, I'll take this to my grave. Yeah. Yeah, then oh, we'll no. have new material again. Then, so it's just it's, an, it's constantly evolving all the time. Your family, <laughs> my family tree. By the end of it, we'll just have a set. Of yeah, family. I mean, if Jono dies, I'll be sad. Yeah. So if you and die, I'll have, the whole there'll be dead perm in. jokes. <laughs> <laughs> Probably. <laughs> don't know. Really curling in his coffee. <laughs> <laughs> oh fucking hell! It's horrendous. I think I've, I think the poem's settled. I think it's settled well. I think it has. Yeah, it, it does. Really annoyingly, mm. it suits you. It will. Yeah. It's... But weirdly, you thought you'll go the opposite way, and rather than just maybe trying to get in a, get in a perm, you decided to shave shave it off. Yeah. Why don't you go for a perm? Because I'm 44 next week. Grow up. Yeah, but I don't know. Age. Yeah. Ricky and old women are the only two people that I know perm their hair. No. That guy from Take That. <laughs> Which one? Name them. Um, Justin Timberlake. Alvin. No. <laughs> he was no, a uh, uh, hang on. Just Gary. Gary. From Take That. Gary from Take That, yeah. It's all, all the same, yeah. They're, not, they're, not all, they're not all got the same surname from Take That. No, it's not, no. Uh, I, I know this. Gary, 
Yeah, take Mark. Oh, yeah. It's not him, though. No, let's take that again. It is take that. I'm naming all of take that. I thought you were naming InSync. No. What? He's trying to name the well, people. Backstreet no, Boys. you're trying. No. Oh, it's, oh, it's still oh, the same. Oh, in that case, Gary's right. Sorry. Yeah, I no, was I know Gary's right. Gary's, but Gary Barlow's the one I know for a fact. Gary Barlow, Mark Owen. Yes. Sid Owen. <laughs> yeah. Ricky. Robbie Williams. Yeah. He made a comeback, didn't he? Yeah. Jason Derulo. <laughs> no. But Jason was one Jason. of them. Jason. Pseudicus. No, his surname is a fruit. Jason Fruit. Plum. <laughs> is a fruit. Jason Apple. No. Jason Pear. <laughs> no. I know it, but I'm going to have a fruit. Jason Grapes. <laughs> what is it? Jason, Jason Banana. Melon. Jason Orange. Yes, well done. Uh, and who's the last one? one? No one cares about the last one. I He's the one with the perm. Jason. Oh, is he? Yeah. That's why no one cares about old, him. Because <laughs> he had a perm. Duncan. This is what happens. No. You get a perm, you've forgotten about. Rocky. <laughs> Who's the last one then, you know? Because you actually rehearsed, didn't you? The... I was with Take That. I was. I supported them on their Berlin tour in 1996. Do you mean Take Fat? <laughs> I thought you was a mechanic in the East End of London. <laughs> also, you're not fat, you look really good, and I feel bad saying that because you've both... Yeah, tell them... Tell oh, okay, don't understand. Yeah, you, no, what you've got to say is definitely more important, so... Yeah, no, it is. Tell him what you were saying to me earlier about your shirt. Yeah, come on. Tell him oh. about your shirt. <laughs> is it, it was your mum's? <laughs> now you fit into it. <laughs> He's I don't know why. Did he go to the kitchen I and take a why. hate pill and he's come back <laughs> literally just horrific? Because um, no, I, I, actually, you both have done really, really well. Yeah. I'm drinking a can. I'm creaking a can, you're right. It's yeah. my fucking garage as there was once. <laughs> I live here. Oh, oh don't ruin the set. <laughs> yeah, according to the, yeah. Um, yeah, so I bought this shirt last summer. Um, <laughs> and my partner at the time said, are you going to try it on? And I went, no, it's an XL, it'll be fine. Oh, uh, I do. That's a man thing to do. <laughs> that is a man thing to do. And I got home and it didn't fit. Too yeah. tight, couldn't do it up. Yeah. Um, mm. the, the good news about it was that I bought... Two other shirts. <laughs> same, same size. size. Um, it's confidence. So yeah, I think, that is confidence. Uh, it yeah. was confidence uh, or stupidity. Um, no, because yeah. you wouldn't look at you, and I wouldn't have said you're bigger than an XL anyway. Oh, oh so yeah. I think it's the shop. Yeah, it's definitely at yeah, the shop. It's fault. the shop's fault. Um, Dave. And then uh, mislabeled it. Yeah, but, uh, but being confident that I would lose weight at some point. Yeah. Um, hung on to him. Got them out on summer wardrobe this year, and now exactly. they're out of fashion. Due to my <laughs> right, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, you do look like you're wearing last season's clothes. Um, <laughs> it's the same yeah. Jack. I beat you to it. I know. Like, what someone needs to do? Right? Know, <laughs> last season's clothes. Yeah. You've got an eighties haircut. <laughs> what, what, what? Your haircut would have been twenty years. What? What? You know, somebody this one's needs only to a do. year old. Oh. Someone oh. needs to make like a fashion label. <laughs> Oh, yeah, it does it some tapping as well. Yeah, somewhere needs to make like a fashion label. Yeah. Say things like XL, they they basically make clothes with the labels that they're smaller than what they are. There. Oh yeah, that'd be so that that way people like you'll think oh, I'm an XL, but yeah. it would actually be an XXL. But you, it will make sure it will fit. That's what somebody should do. That would get really confusing. That's yeah. the shittiest idea I've ever had, Ricky. Honestly, <laughs> oh really? That was a pretty good idea for a business. <laughs> well, now you're gonna have to talk about it. No. No, you aren't going to have to talk about it. Oh, okay. I've started a business. It's no, a oh, okay. That's not what I'm talking You are your mum. You're like, I'll put you on the spot. And you're like, oh, fine. I've started a business and it's called Fat People Skinny or whatever. No, no, no. Of <laughs> There's got to be a better pun than that. Yeah. Flop man? Because of your permy hair? No, that would be... That's nothing to do well, with the business. Want, basically, yeah. First thing first with business is... Um, what you don't want to do is label the business after one person because it pigeonholes you. So if you was like starting your own business, you, you wouldn't want to call it like shit estate agent because that would be just based on you. Um, you'd want to give it kind of more of a brand name. Oh, like, okay. I, I feel like that's an under, that, I feel like that was a that was a some form of a dig. Uh, it was a it was a dig, which is backfired because you was a much better estate agent than him. So yeah. So I would go with uh, something <laughs> like, like ignorant. <laughs> I'd call my 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 term rent ignorant because then you're ignorant to the site something like that. So, oh, like, okay. Yeah, that's fine. But um, what board. Ricky's actually referring to is the fact that we filmed uh, some content for me today. And it's it probably was... going to come out before this. Uh, I don't know because I've actually got like 17 videos oh, ready to go. Yeah. Been, well, oh, no, I've been grafting, mate. Big time. I've been grafting. <laughs> that time. Uh, <laughs> that time. Well, 
Well, it's only taken you seven months. Fuck <laughs> here now. Uh, no, we get it. It's been hard. Five months, you prick. Yeah. So it's been hard. <laughs> Is that your clothing brand you've made since obviously everything's happened? Well, this? Yeah. No, oh. this is her clothing. This oh, is okay. a, friend, a couple of friends of mine that own this clothing brand. brand like. Oh, they're sponsoring? No, they don't have to pay for no, that. They're not, <laughs> no, they're not. But I didn't bring it up. <laughs> <laughs> I just like their clothes. Oh, no, fair enough. Yeah. Um, <laughs> that killed that. That killed that, yeah. <laughs> Thanks for that. Um... Yeah, so we made some new we made some new content today, which probably this podcast will be out before that content. Oh, uh, but that's fine because it gives people think, oh, what, what have they made? Ooh, what have they done? Yeah. Content. BTS. Yeah, and we've done like a we did we did like a um, me pitching really rubbish business ideas mm. to. He's gonna swear then. So, yeah, John and Ricky with a with a business, the investors, mm, if you yeah. will. Um, which now I'm saying it out loud sounds like a really rubbish idea, but we filmed well, it and some of it yeah, was funny. It's going to be really, it's going to actually be really good. I so think it will be, good. will be funny. Yeah, well, that's yeah. what you do. You set expectations really low. You just said no. It's actually going to be really good. No, I know, but I'm saying that's that's oh, what right. you were doing. You were setting expectations really low. Oh, I was, yeah. Because then yeah. if people are disappointed, they're like, oh, well, he it was. Yeah, he bigged it up, and actually, it wasn't as funny. Yeah, as well, so I'm just saying, it, yeah, it could be quite funny if it's your sense of humour. Yeah. I mean, watch, listen, watch them anyway. Watch them anyway. Fine. Yeah, judge them yourself. Judge yeah. for yourself. Judge for yourself. Got kids to feed. I've got kids yeah. to feed. So you yeah. got you know eight of them upstairs it's in your bedroom. Free, free t- <laughs> <laughs> Not anymore. <laughs> One of them died. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, that was the joke. <laughs> <laughs> sort of. Ah, <laughs> oh, little Timmy. What else can we talk about then? Should we talk about? Um, <laughs> <laughs> should we talk about so a couple of things? Some. Should we talk about t- TV shows that we've watched recently? Yeah. Because I've actually watched a couple. Oh, one I've asked you to watch. You probably haven't. No. Weirdly, I've avoided it. <laughs> it's called avoidance. Why have you avoided it? No, I haven't avoided it. That was just a joke for the, the, the plan of the world. Oh, but, for the plan of the year. But I am going to watch it. I am, I am going to watch it. Oh, um, is it? Avoidance. It's on BBC. Mm-hmm. iPlayer. No, I'm not watching it. Well, actually, I haven't got a TV licence. Don't want to pay it, mate. Yeah, but it's BBC iPlayer. So yeah. can't you watch it on the iPlayer? No, you watch it on YouTube. You have, you have to have a license for that. Just pay the license about four pounds. No, it's not. It's fucking extortionate. So have you not got a TV license? No, never have. But I've never watched anything on BBC. All right. Well, anyway, it's on BBC. It's called Avoidant. Oh, my voice just broke. <laughs> you know that? Oh, yeah. Oh, I'm yeah, finally a man. Do know that? Yeah, we was here. I'm finally a man. Um, it's Romish Raganathan. It's his new show. So it's really good. Oh. But it was a bit too close to home, I think, because it's about. It's just funny. Just watch it. It's a, it's about a guy that his wife leaves him, and uh, <laughs> that's why it's a bit close. But no, no, no. but it's not about twenty two minutes. No, no, no. <laughs> twenty two minutes, and it's finally. It's not. I'm just trying to describe that. I can't help. That's yeah, what it's about. In the room. I, no, I can't help. That's what it's about. Oh yeah, no true. Well, I didn't write it. I'm, not, I'm just telling you. I watched it. And it's it's really funny. I'm not telling you that because of. So why have you cried so much? And if it's really funny, that's no, because my wife left me. <laughs> That's the everlasting pain that I, that I feel. <laughs> no, the show's really funny. You should watch it. Um, but also, I will. shows. Probably in nine years after, because that's how long it took me that to watch The long. Office. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Oh, so there was a... Was you just going to say the same as me about no. The Office? They're doing a reboot. Oh, are they? Didn't you see the clip? Didn't you watch it? Was that a clip I for... I to you. Yeah, but wasn't that a clip, though, for an advert? Because at thought, the end of it, it says AT&T. I thought it was like the, the, the reboot for it. Yeah, I, I thought, thought it was. See, I thought it was because there's an advert going around oh, or a video. Like April Fools or something. Like that. No, no, no. I think it was an. I think it was an ad because at the end of it it said. AT and T, which is like a mobile phone provider yeah. in America. But it's only the last because so someone's like cut it just at the end and you just see AT and T coming on. Uh, so I think it. I don't think it's an April Fool, but I think it's. Maybe it's a marketing. I thing. don't a marketing thing yeah, because it had uh, Dwight. Who else did it have? Uh, You've watched it more. Kevin. Kevin, Dwight, Kevin. Creed. Creed was in it. Surprised he's still alive, got to be honest. He's never looked... Oh, he just looks the same. Yeah. <laughs> through ten, like, ten seasons. Don't he? Um, yeah, anyway, a few of them were in it. And it oh. looked like it was a promo for... Oh, uh, okay. Like a new season. For the reboot. But then, would you watch it if it was just them? Like, you need... A, they need a big... You Steve need, Carell needs to come back or, as... Yeah, or at least... Jim and Pam, but... Again, I still I don't think it's gone. enough. Like, I, I, don't, yeah. I don't think it's enough. Yeah. That's when I lost... Not interest in it, but it started yeah. to lose a little bit when yeah. when Steve Crow left. Yeah, yeah. So I think they even then they started bringing in. You had like Will Ferrell, even Will just, Ferrell, which was it was quite yeah. funny with Will Ferrell. But you're so 
like eight seasons in, you're so bought into that character yeah. that it doesn't matter who you bring in, yeah. which proves it. Will Ferrell was brilliant, yeah. but you can't replace him. You can't no, replace no, him. No. I think what happened though is, is although Steve Carell left and it was like, oh, gutting, I was, I was invested in the other characters, which is why I didn't then just go, oh, I'm well, done. Yeah. Because, See, be, be, because I, I, I think if I wasn't as invested in the, the Pam and Jim storyline yeah. and Dwight, I, I would probably would have just gone, oh, I can't, nah, now he's gone, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not interested. But there were other bits going on that were like, okay, that's well, just, I were, don't yeah. want to see how yeah. this pans out. I mean, I did watch it through. I, I think though, the first time I watched it, I didn't, I couldn't get through it. Mm. I think I've then gone yeah, yeah, back. Yeah. Same. And then when I've watched it again from start to, and then I've got to, and like, I'll watch a little bit more this time. And then yeah. I think that's taken me like three or four goes to get yeah. to the end. Yeah. Because then I think it does just drop. And then I feel, I feel like the last season is just for the sake of doing a season. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but I feel like, I'll tell you the only person who I, w- and, and this obviously can't go back in and rewrite history. If they had have replaced Michael Scott with David Brent. Yeah, and the whole thing comes full circle. I think that would have been a brilliant way, even yeah. if they just done one season with him coming in, and, and that's how they end. Or even the last yeah. episode, him just as announced as the new manager, just leaves you on like a a cliffhanger. Of, yeah, yeah, but then why would? Yeah, no, that wouldn't work, John. I don't. Yeah, um, yeah, because otherwise, then you'd always be wanting for the rest of your life. Are oh, they going to release oh, one? Like, and he like probably won't. Yeah. Yeah. Is that what they've done on Gavin and Stacey? What? Well, he proposed, didn't he, in, in the end of the last Christmas special? Yeah, and then they said they were going to do a new one, but it turns out it was... So we don't true. know then, so he proposed... Because no. I can't remember she, it. Sorry, she proposed to him. Who? Who? Nessa, Nessa proposed Pam. to Smithy. Oh, yes, I do remember it. I do remember it. And then yeah. it was... So now, yeah, yeah, you're right. at the end, didn't it? So you don't know if... We don't know. If he accepts or... They 100% will. Because hasn't James Corden just come back... From America, from yeah. America. So he's, back, so he's yeah. back in. He's back in the UK. So one hundred. And how long ago was that Christmas special? Three, four years. Well, ago? Yeah, maybe, maybe four years. You're so right. Got stuff yeah. in the yawn. Yeah. Ricky's bored now. No, because we've been working all afternoon, putting the tiles up and filming. He's like, he's, I, I was he's trying done to that. hide yeah. it. Instead, you looked like he was having some kind of a stroke. Yeah, but the audio listeners would have known that. Would no, they? no. But weirdly, I, what I had earlier. What stroke? When my hand went. Yeah, you did have a little gammy hand. Yeah, you did a little Jeremy a little... Beadle hand. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah, Gavin and Stacey. Oh, that was a cl- that was a classic as well. Love that. I watched uh, what Jennifer did on Netflix. Yep, I watched that. I watched yeah. that. I'm Tell me about it. I haven't seen it. So, so, oh, is it, so okay. So we have to say spoiler alert here. Yeah, spoiler alert. Because we don't want to give too much away. But the whole thing is is if what you, Jennifer what's did. The what Jennifer did. What's, yeah, what's, the, what's the premise of it? Who's yeah, Jennifer? It's a documentary. It's a documentary. Okay. And so, oh, so, okay. So Jennifer's parents got murdered one mm-hmm. of them they got attacked the mum died so it's just trying to figure out what Jennifer did yeah during just that trying, whole why they why or how they got killed yeah she she basically called the police um, whilst whilst tied up upstairs yeah and said like oh my parents have been murdered Steve's broken I can see his brain already and he as soon as you said she called the police while, while she was tied up upstairs he's already gone we well, can't make a phone call. You can't make a phone call while you're tied up. <laughs> so it's like, the, it's like the investigation in, into yeah. that. Oh. But you're, like, that is one of the points that the police bring up to her. Like, you know, they say to us, show us how you, you made that phone call. Um, and she was like, oh, well, I was like, kind of um, like this. And then I've got my phone from my pocket. And, then I, and it was like, she yeah. was like, she said like oh I have the phone like this and we're speaking to him like this but then they play the phone call and it's like crystal clear as if she's like this yeah right. and also she also I think and again this is like we've said spoiler alert but um, Steve probably won't watch it, it, it no nine which is years. why I wasn't going to so kind of I was going to just speak well, about it but then you don't know no I do know no, you okay. Will. But we would say, we would say, <laughs> but, so anyone that's listening, if you wanted to watch it, pause now, watch it, and then come back. Yeah, well, that well. Okay, you're saying that. Je- what, I don't have Netflix. a pause button. I genuinely might want to watch it. Netflix. and I'm gonna. You're just gonna tell me all about it now. No, yeah. no well, you've you asked about it. Yeah, yeah. The premise of it. Not, yeah, I've not the premise of it. That's what I'm telling you. Okay. But also, I'm guessing, yeah, I'm one, guessing so Jennifer she did done it. Just one thing. <laughs> no, no, not necessarily. No, but but exactly. it's like what she did do through, through the whole thing. It's just like, yeah. what, what did Jennifer do? Oh. What Jennifer did. Okay, well, I'm going to watch it tonight. Um, but one of the things that did irritate me was, um, not irritate me, because that's, that's not the right word, but she said about the thing, she was tied up, she got mm. her phone out, and they said, and was it on loudspeaker? And she said, no. Just say yes. Yeah. Just say yeah. How, how old is she? Old enough. 
No, I think she's like 25. I spoiled it. Oh, she's in her 20s, 25, 27. Yeah, okay. like that, so yeah. it wasn't like she was like 16, 17 and she was, she had, she wasn't uh, mature enough to think of that. No, 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 no. I think it's just... And the whole thing was very fought out by her anyway, so it was... Right, okay. What was it? Because I don't know what she did. Well, no, exactly. We know what we did. Yeah, yeah. Unagi, we know Oh, I saw Vic Reeves the other day. Walked past him. That's random. (laughs) No, because I said Unagi. Oh. And I was like, oh, Vic Reeves. And then I saw him the other day. You didn't say Unagi. (laughs) That was Friends, wasn't it? Yes. (laughs) I don't know. That was wrong. Oh, weird. Like, what did they Rick say then? In, in Varvu. In Varvu, that's it. Varvu. Yeah, well, that's right. It's all the same, isn't it? It's just a word. Um, okay. Is he in it? Is he in what Jennifer did? No, Ross and Friends. Or Vic Reeves? No, no, no. Okay. No. okay. So, uh, how many episodes is it? How what much am I going to have to It's one. It's one episode. It's like one a one. Episode. Okay. No, no, no. It's, it's not an episode. Like an it's an it's a Netflix like film. film yeah. Documentary. Documentary film. I can commit to that. Aaron off. Docu film, I believe. I can do that. I'll do that tonight. Yeah. Quick quiz me on it next week. I'll probably I'll forget to be honest. Okay. Yeah. But Brilliant. I tell you what, I did watch it. Oh, you should have watched it before, so we could have, could have spoke about it. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. We, well, we need to not. watch it. Brilliant. Okay. Well, because we plan everything that we talk about. We're <laughs> watching The Apprentice. That's come to a finish. What? All of it's come to a finish, or, or just this season's come to a finish. This season's come okay. to a finish. Okay. Yeah. I've never watched one episode of The Apprentice. Oh, I, I love I used it, to love it. I haven't watched it for a long time. Now it's like with most reality TV shows, the first couple of episodes or the first couple of seasons are really, really good, and then they realise, oh, people are watching this, and then they over-engineer it. Oh, okay. And yeah, then it's yeah, like yeah. now, like before, if you watch the the first season, um, you can watch clips of it of the first season, and they'll literally be like. You're a fucking idiot. Like, there's no way in business. We're trying to do, do business deals here and you just keep fucking talking shit and they, like, swear and they're sat there with cigarettes and, like, and it's and that now it's like, you know, guys, like, do what you want to do, but I, I really do disagree that this is not the best plan for us. And it's like... But surely is that not just them honing their... The way that they conduct themselves throughout a process, the yeah, whole but thing like, process. But it's like the first seasons of Big Brother were better... Because, or even Love Island. Oh, so you they were. Sorry, in just the first couple of episodes, normal people. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I yeah. thought and you meant the first couple of episodes, and then later on in that same oh, series, no, you were no, talking no, about no. the first couple of seasons. Yeah, yeah, yeah. As right, I suppose okay. now, as you think yeah, yeah, like, yeah. back at Love Island in the first season, they were basically on beers and cigarettes all the time, and they were yeah. proper uh, bust ups. And I'm not yeah, saying that's that, just life changes. No, but I'm not, that's no, but I'm not saying that I want the bust ups. That's not the part that I want, but like, I feel like in terms of business acrimon, which is what The Apprentice is about, they now, like, it feels like. The producers purposely trip them up and edit right. it in a way that makes them look like idiots when they're not. When I don't think that that's well, that yeah. anyone would do that. Do yeah. you know what I mean? Yeah. And they do things in a certain way, and it feels like the 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 tasks are set now in a way that is designed for to make them either fail or, or yeah, succeed. right, okay. So they're doing it now. It's just for. It feels more like it's just for TV. Yeah, and then they're probably now picking personalities who will come across better on TV. Yeah, like it, it, it felt yeah. in the original seasons, it was like 20% kind of producer input, 80% real, whereas yeah. it probably split now. I think like, That's, you watched all of, sorry, but you, you've watched all of Below Deck. Yeah, most of it. Like if you think those first seasons of Below Deck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And just how rowdy and yeah. how terrible everything was. Yeah. And now it was just chaos it, and there was just a, basically a man with a camera. Yeah. And it was catching, just chaos. And it was, and it was, it was capturing organic everything. organic chaos. Yeah. Whereas now it's engineered chaos. But they say that though, didn't they? I was talking to, uh, not talking to, sorry, but I do, I, there's a lad called Freddie Bentley. Um, I don't know if you know him. He was on a, um, he was on a series called The Circle. Oh, yeah. I've heard of The Circle. I've never really watched it, but that's the one where they... It's like a social... They're in the house. Like, yeah, they, so no each one meets yeah. each other, but you will, you will message through, yeah. the, through the circle in it. But he was on that anyway, but he's now in Towie, because mm. um, he's from Essex, and I think he's got a lot of friends that were in Towie, yeah. Towie anyway. And he has just been on a podcast, and he was talking about um, the fact that there's all these things happen and not not set up but just things that happen but yeah. then the producers are like right you can't ha- you two can't have a conversation until we need to get the cameras on yeah. so then you're sort of sitting around waiting for everything to be set up because people can't just have a conversation about it you have to wait and yeah, have yeah. that conversation on camera it's like when we say I'll put a pin in it yeah, and then we forget what and it then is, and then we try to think about what it is. But that's because we need a producer. So yeah. once once this we're podcast hiring. go well, we know well don't we're not. So. Oh, okay, we're not. I mean, we've only got sure. half a wall. Yeah, we're half Let's a pay wall. Let's pay for pay for the second half of the wall first before. <laughs> well, we I don't want to sound like this isn't to, to do with budget. 
I just don't want people to think. All right, money bags. <laughs> Jesus. No, no, no. I mean, these are like free. They're not expensive. I'm just, I don't want people to think. Not expensive to you. Yeah, yeah. I, it's, it's just they ran out of. It's just one. Not talking it's about a one Lamborghini. Issue. I, it's I'm, a supply issue. It's not. It's a, a supply it's not issue. A budget. If he could buy a thousand, he I couldn't buy a thousand. Don't know. I don't we probably should have checked that there is more available before we put these. Well, I just assume they would get more in stock. I just assume they would. Well, no, there's probably they're thirteen by thirteen, um, kind of sound. <laughs> Making well, it, but no, they are sound to build it. Oh, yeah. yeah, but what's so? What's that got to do with anything? Or because you'll be able to go on Amazon. There'll be seven different types. No, there was, but all of the black ones were sold out. That's what I mean. They were all di- all different shades and different colours. Oh, just get the black ones. <laughs> so. <laughs> Fucking I watched a couple of. He's saying episodes. all the black ones are sold out. Yeah, yeah I don't know, know but oh, it's dead in it. Um, what, <laughs> oh, okay. He's two episodes of Fallout, the new Fallout. If anyone, um, no. I've got some some other friends that have said they watched that, but I've never watched it. I don't know what it is. Oh, okay. Well, Fallout is a is a game. This is an adaptation of it. Right. Okay. But you probably wouldn't care if you haven't played the games. I feel like you need. So, like Last of Us. Did you watch that? Mm-hmm. Love that. Because I played the game, The Last of Us. Yeah. So. I had an interest I, in the I, series. I watched Sonic the Hedgehog because I played Sonic the Hedgehog back in the um, back. Was in that the good day. though? No, it was trash. I've got another friend of mine, Matt. He said was he said that he likes it, but his little boy likes it. Henry, yeah. he loves he loves Sonic. My, young, my youngest daughter went through this phase of loving it for about three months, where she was like every other night. Can oh, we, really? Can we watch Sonic again. We that Sonic. is the thing with kids; they're yeah, very repetitive. Um, <laughs> you remind me of a child. Yeah, fat one. That was such a good insult. Such a good insult. But yeah, Ricky, like, Ricky uh, the paedophile's dream. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say the paedophile's dream, but he's not. They don't have the fat chubby ones, do they? Well, it depends. They don't have the skinny ones. <laughs> Speaking from experience, Dan. Um, <laughs> but um, I feel like with The Last of Us, it transfers, like, it, it transfers quite easily over to a show because you'd be like, oh, um, yeah. zombies. Like everyone, everyone knows what zombies are in in whether they've played the game or not. You know what a zombie is, yeah, yeah. Whereas with Fallout, yeah, it's so law driven, right? Okay, and then yeah. it becomes quite hard to just like you could watch. Oh, so it. you need to really know what the game is to enjoy like, it more. Is what you're saying? A hundred percent. Right. Okay. Whereas, like, there's like, because there's like technology and guns in it, and there's the different species in it, which they don't necessarily like explain. Oh, okay. Yeah, like, yeah, I'd find like that. with Last of Us, there's certain things you don't really need to explain. They do a scene which kind of explains that, oh, there's a zombie outbreak and this is what started yeah, it. Yeah, and then yeah. it's like, right, it's a zombie show, that's fine. Yeah. Whereas with this, yeah, okay. it's not as easy. There is some it's, like storytelling. It's hard stuff. enough for me to watch a TV show without having to go and play a game about it first. Or yeah. some the thing is, is like, you wouldn't have to. Yeah. But I think I could guarantee that you would enjoy that show less than me yeah. because of everything is an Easter egg to something that's happened in the game or everything alludes to something in the yeah, game. And I'd be mean. like, oh, okay, that, that's that, that's that, whereas you you wouldn't. So but I have this, so I watched The Last of Us, but I, I watched it because I played the game. Mm. If I hadn't played the game, I don't think I'd have watched the series. And that's only because I, I find it hard to watch and enjoy something that I just don't, like isn't sort of real life, if that makes like, yeah, like so. We like, talked earlier about um, I think the same. Game of Thrones because you mm. went on a you specifically went on a holiday so you could go on a Game of Thrones tour. I think recently yes. last week is why yeah. we couldn't record last week. Um, but I've never watched Game of Thrones because dragons aren't real. Yeah, no, it's true they're not in in, in yeah. Um, so so I can't get behind that. The same with like zombie stuff or there's there's horror movies where. There, it's in a dream, and I'm like, oh, well, it's just I don't like it. Whereas I'd like true crime. Yeah, what Jennifer yeah. did a bit of true true crime. And then I think the reason why people like those shows is because it, it it truly is an escape from reality, isn't it? Is that's the thing? You, like all those yeah, things yeah, you're talking about, they're very very based in reality. But um, no, Vic is the same. She she doesn't she didn't really want when I first watched Game of Thrones. Mm. Um, like she didn't watch any of it she hadn't watched any of it um and then she watched i rewatched it she watched it again with me and just kind of didn't really indulge in it too much but kind of passenger watched it i guess now she she loves it and she's re- we've come back from dubrovnik which is where it's shot um and she's rewatching it and i'm not right okay so she probably likes it more than me but, but she i think she likes things- it for the sex scenes though doesn't she 
No, I tell her to wake me up for him. <laughs> Just those specific ones. Yeah. Do you know what I'm worried about? Story, and, I, and, I, and I won't name names because, and they probably won't see this. But I'm going to tell this story. I once had a neighbour yeah. in a house that I lived at, and I'll be honest, I heard him having sex one night. So right. Cough to it. Yeah. I, no. I, but I, I was listening. Oh yeah. And just then for the, the next, audio listeners, Dan yeah. cupped his ear. Yeah. Yeah. To show yeah. No, because I was what, up against the wall. The yeah, because because I was, I was up against the wall. Jesus <laughs> nice. I was like, oh, what's I that? Know. What is that noise? Anyway, that's not even. That's part of it. Then the following day, she knocks on my door. <laughs> right. Was she listening? <laughs> no, no. She knocks on the door and she went, "Oh, oh." Um, it was about something. I can't remember what it was. She went, "Oh, and also." Um, I'm really sorry. We sometimes we watch Game of Thrones and we have it on really loud, and sometimes there's like sex scenes in it. <laughs> what a weird thing to say, anyway. And I, and I was like, oh, okay. Like, I, I can't remember the exact conversation, but it was. She basically she knew they were being loud the night yeah. before, mm. uh, and she probably knew I was home because my car was there and we sort of shared a yeah. driveway. And she made a point of saying, oh, yeah, we'd like to watch Game of Thrones sometimes. And obviously sex scenes in it. And sometimes we have the TV too loud. Sorry if it was, the TV was too noisy. And I was like, no, I didn't hear anything. I wasn't, oh, I was no. in the... I'm really sorry. I wasn't making up to it. I'm really sorry. Yeah. Weird though, that your partner's name is Derek. And yeah. <laughs> there's not a character in there called Derek. <laughs> oh, it was just funny. It was just funny. It was. It feels more awkward now I'm saying it, but it yeah. didn't feel awkward. Like in the moment, it's just, just like a, a throwaway. We were just chatting anyway. And it was just like a throwaway thing. Mm. But. but no, but thank you for bringing up the... Uh, fact that I went on holiday I don't like to bring it up often uh, but yeah no Vicky surprised me with a trip to Dubrovnik which is where it was shot oh she surprised you with it yeah. I actually didn't know that yeah it was from that's weird because then didn't you say she didn't really want to go no oh <laughs> no <laughs> she did want to go with Ricky she didn't want to go with Ricky oh that's it oh, that, was it. <laughs> that was it let up the fucking bitch <laughs> But, um, oh, yeah, yeah, we, went there. we did a tour um, of all the Game of Thrones scenes, which I said, to be fair, it was a bit... Uh, I was quite excited about the idea of the tour before the tour happened, but it was very much... They had, like, a binder of, like, shots from the show, mm. and then they were like, oh, you see those bricks over there? That's, that's these bricks here. And then just because you're like... <laughs> I don't know, doing a Game of Thrones tour and you're in the middle of Dubrovnik, you're just taking pictures of walls. Yeah. <laughs> Which, without... Yeah, without the context, it's just a fucking wall. It's just a wall. <laughs> see, I, see, I don't think... I don't think I would enjoy that. I didn't. I, I, well, only because I don't enjoy Game of Thrones, but saying that, when I, when I went to um, Vegas, where Elvis had played... Yeah, I stood on the floor that he stood on, and it's just a piece of floor. Yeah, so it does feel weird, but in that aspect, I quite like the Instagram. Have you seen? There's an Instagram page that yeah. does this, and they show a picture of someone just taking a picture of a bench yeah. and trees, and then they and then it's like oh, goodwill hunting, like the other half yeah. in to like that picture. Not, well, they just put it side by side, so you see like the top half is yeah. is like um, Robin Williams and. Uh, what's the other lad's name? Gary Barber. Oh my God. No. Jason um, Derulo. Matt Damon. Matt Damon sat on a bench and then it's a picture of just the bench and it's, yeah, yeah, I, yeah. I like them, but then you can do that in the comfort of your own home. You yeah, don't need to go to Dubrovnik. We, that's the thing. We did do that. And to be fair, like there were some really, really nice bits. We went to the botanical gardens and stuff and then some of the, sh- the that scenes that were shot there are really, really nice. <laughs> um, and it was, you know, it's quite nice to be in those spots where it was shot. But then like you say, it was just, like, oh, yeah. Like, oh, that's that's cool. On to the next one. I think it's just a nice experience. It's not in terms of like taking photos. It's just the photos of bricks. But in terms of the experience, yeah, it's and, probably but, quite nice. But then Vicky, like when when she's been watching that, we watched the first episode of this the second season. I was like, oh, we've been there. Like, yeah, this is, and then that that was cool. And it's like, so it's like one. Firstly, you need to watch the season yeah. to get an understanding. Then you go on the tour and then you come back and watch it again. And you're like, oh, we've, we've been there, which is which is nice. But yeah. I don't necessarily feel like we needed to pay for a tour to do it. Cause no, of, I know what you mean. I went to the Coronation Street set when I was younger. Did you? I mean, if that if that's similar, it sounds like it's probably you, a similar thing to what you rivaled. To what you I did. did. So, oh, when I was <laughs> in the car, <laughs> weren't you rival? Yeah, you <laughs> feel, feel. <laughs> Not feel. Minty. Phil or Minty. Phil, Minty. You're a combination. Grant, Peggy, <laughs> any of them. <laughs> weren't you rivals? That was, that was good. I like that. Um, but yeah. I did. When I was younger, I went to, oh, do you remember What's Up, Doc? With, with Pat Sharp. <laughs> 
<laughs> you once, you're too young, but you might remember it. Remember a vet field in. It wasn't Pat Sharp, was it? Yeah, Pat Sharp did it. Pat Sharp and a vet field in. Didn't Pat Sharp do Fun House? He did do Fun House as well. But it was, uh, but and I went with the Cubs and we saw Zig and Zag. Do you remember Zig and Zag? Yes. But I was distraught because I was like, why are there men doing that? <laughs> <laughs> and they're like behind this box thing. And it's like, this is Matt. I was a child. I didn't understand at the time. Yeah. You would have been traumatised if you tried to fuck me. Well, oh when, we went to, um, when, we went to, when we went to the Coronation Street set, I remember li- literally walking down. The, the, I was only probably nine or ten. It was yeah. obviously more for my mum and dad that we, that we went there. Yeah. We was walking down it. Um but I remember looking through the letterbox of the houses. Yeah. And I had no idea that at that time you filmed indoor shots in a in a studio. Yeah. And I was like, it's just breeze blocks. That's it's not what Deidre's house yeah. looks like. What's she's decorating? <laughs> yeah. Can we come back next week when she's finished? Because this looks awful. Yeah. Like, <laughs> to be fair, that, that, that was awful. That yeah. was one How thing. Mum, get your money back. That yeah. was one thing. When they, like, one thing that was really kind of interesting is they'll have, like, a shot of like the castle or whatever and you'll see that half of it is just they have like real life shots but yeah like CGI, CGI yeah, yeah, and yeah. you're like wow that, that, that shit is really interesting also things like Dubrovnik although it's very very oldie weldy mm. they have electricity which means they have cables right so okay. in the show yeah. they like hang vines and flowers over all the electric cables and oh, everything that doesn't sound dangerous so that sort of stuff was actually really interesting because yeah. that isn't just like oh there's bricks yeah. it's also like in order to get rid of all of these lamps and all of that they they basically would cover it with vines yeah, and stuff like that, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. sometimes they had like full on walls but oh, can I just say one thing does this get more interesting than walls <laughs> is this going to be a pun about your last name no I wish no, but basically, sometimes there would be bits in the show, like, they had used alleyways and stuff like that, yeah. but there would be bits of it that they didn't want. So they'd get all the extras to basically, like, to either sit on the walls or huddle over the walls so you just didn't even know that there was a wall there. Oh, okay. That was so it didn't, yeah. it didn't get more interesting. So there was, uh, what's that? So have you seen that? Um, there's a film, Dunkirk, mm. and there was... Where was that shot? Margate. Sorry, the way you said that, like, I went, are you joking? I've never heard of that film. One of the biggest well, blockbusters some... of all time. I haven't seen that. Oh, just because you're a Harry Styles fan, but well, and you definitely are a Harry Styles fan. I'm pointing to his perm because Harry Styles is obviously oh, a perm. I, now, I haven't a, watched it. Harry Styles. Style. <laughs> anyway, I saw this thing where um, they showed all the people because obviously at Dunkirk there was a lot of people there for the actual oh, yeah. war, um, but it was just cutouts. So in the film, like it, you're looking on this beach and it looks like there's thousands of people, but they just have like one or two lines of people and it's just thousands and thousands of cutouts of people. Oh, really? Which is, yeah, it's quite, I mean, I feel like you're being sarcastic with with that, but yeah. Um, no, but in, but I can we delete this last five minutes of the two most boring stories I've ever heard? Oh, have you had a story? Like Missy's no, great no, personality. Jesus, Jesus. Minute, he can't be tears, mate. <laughs> Go on, get back to the garage, yeah, mate. Get some tires. <laughs> Fix my alternator. Well, yeah, yeah, put some oil in. I don't know if that's grow your hair back you bald what did your kids say when you showed them your hair at least you haven't permed it like <laughs> <laughs> one of the streets one of them cried she did cry. I'd cry for you and my dad oh. at least okay be alive go on say <laughs> 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 oh, even though I actually didn't grow a conscious of what, can I make another dead dad joke in this podcast no. at least, at least but you, you did it for me so that's fine at least yeah. you've grown in one way over these past six seven months <laughs> Is that a fat joke or is that just because... No, I'm you haven't kid. really grown as a person. That's what I was going for. Oh, right, yeah. No, no. He has a beard. <laughs> I have a beard. I've got bigger titties now. Titties. Um, so That's I've been to... I have been known titties for a very long time. Titties, 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 titties. So I've been to... Have you seen the film The Exorcist? Mm. Another big... <laughs> Which one? <laughs> no, 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 <laughs> Which one? There's a few. No, just the main one. The first oh, yeah. one. Yeah. Um, so I've actually been to the steps. You know the... Oh, psst, here we go. <laughs> Oh God, we have to listen to your story about the balls. Oh, well, the walls. And I walked past the wall. There's some foliage over it. Oh, fucking all right, When nerd. the extras weren't doing anything, no, they hit no, walls. Fucking... Right, yeah, you've been to the stairs. Go on. <laughs> yeah, I've been to the stairs. <laughs> That's the story. That's it. That's it. Yeah, but I'm just telling you about the place. Oh, I thought you was going to go and it was actually felt really creepy. No, it, and it, was all no really... it did feel creepy because I did go there at night. <laughs> on my so it was dark and I'm scared Ooh. of the dark oh, I shouldn't say that on the podcast but um, you're scared of the dark no not anymore but when did that the end? scene you know the scene when it about two seconds ago when <laughs> I just said it out loud to the front of grown adults um, no you know the scene where he, I think he the priest gets thrown out of the window mm, onto the stairs onto the stairs and he rolls down and the stairs are really long they are genuinely really creepy like oh. I, and I've I've been there 
Yeah, no. So, <laughs> in the dark, which you don't no, like. But coming back to uh, locations, film locations, there was a TV show that was filmed in Dill, mm, which yep. is, and I worked in Dill for a lot, for many years with Steve, actually, where, where we first met, actually, and become best friends. Um, there's a, so we know it quite well. Yeah. And there's a TV show, and I was really excited about it. I think it was called Liar, maybe? Yeah. And it was filmed in Dill. So I was like, oh, that's like, that's mm. quite cool, isn't it? Like, where you work and where you yeah. know, and our like, family live over there. I'm like, oh, it's a TV show. And then I started watching it, and it because I knew Dill so well, it ruined the TV show for me a little bit. Because there was scenes where the girl, the main character, was driving down the road, and it had one angle of her... And I'm looking at, oh, that's, that's, Victoria, that's, that's that. And then it will cut the same scene, yeah. cut to a different angle. And then she's down the other end. And I'm like, that's the other end. Of, that's not even deal. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But it, they, and, I, and I was it's like, clever, I think, though. I, I do find it really clever. When they did, they, there's a show called Whitsple Pearl. Which yeah, is, so I've not seen yeah. that, actually. I, I that's haven't Kevin seen Goddard it. That's isn't it? Yeah. So, so that shot in Whitstable. Yeah. And it's about Whitstable. I bumped um, into Carrie Goddard when she, that was being filmed. Oh. Um, that's the end of it she was getting oh, okay. some groceries in Sainsbury's oh. I was next to her on the thing they're just like <laughs> normal people aren't they that's mental <laughs> that's just, that is just getting some groceries did yeah. you have a look to see what she was getting just yeah bananas she doesn't have bananas <laughs> no oh you no. the same she was getting a perm kit <laughs> you don't get kit it's not fit it's, it's, it's a process kit. actually but um, <laughs> <laughs> but, um you're a fucking process but, <laughs> yeah. but like there's a block of flats we've sold a couple of them yeah yeah um, other ones. and they they basically like just stuck on it was like quite a nice frontage where it was a block of flats yeah and they just stuck a police sign on the top of it and like police opening hours and yeah. that was like the front of their police and then they basically do shots of them going in it and like you said basically then they would stop and they'd go to a studio elsewhere and yeah, do the inside yeah. shots yeah. but it's just it's just clever that how they repurpose yeah, things yeah. so the reason I didn't want Watch Whitstable Pearl is the same reason that I couldn't get into Liar because I, I because I spent my time seeing something and being like, mm. well, that's not there, uh, so I wasn't following the story. Yeah, yeah. Is Whitstable Pearl is it good? Is it? I haven't watched it. No, <laughs> so I'll, tell, I'll tell you why I haven't watched it is because of you, you can't see, afford a TV no, no, no. license. I no. think we've all we've had no, all it was on yeah. BBC. Otherwise, I, I wouldn't have still watched it. But um, where is it though? So it's it's on a America only. Oh. Subscription. It's not English TV. It was. It's filmed for America. Why? Because Whitstable's quite well known in yeah. England. You'd think that they would. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but it's basically it, it's done for like a American TV. Station. So we can't watch it. What you saying. can, but you'd have to go and subscribe to like that oh. niche fucking TV that thing. I, let me find out where oh, it is. You guys much. talk a little bit. So. Oh, so this story would be more interesting if I could remember the name of the TV show. Well, we might be. <laughs> but, we might. We might. But no. I went to I went to football uh, with my dad and my brother um, a, few years ago, a few years ago. We went to we went up to Manchester. Acorn TV. Um, oh, that what it is? Acorn yeah. TV. Right. Sorry. So we went up. To, we went up to Manchester to to uh, watch Villa play United, and we we got into Manchester, and we was going down this road, and my dad was like, "Oh, so like, where's the parking?" And I went, for some reason, I think it's up here, turn left, turn right. Right. And got there. And my dad was like, how did you How did you know that that's where the parking was? I was like, I don't know. It just feels really, really familiar. And then it, later on, it hit me that there was a car chase scene in this program that I'd watched. And it basically went down. Night Rider. It, it went, <laughs> could have been Night Rider. Bad yeah. boys. Fake yeah. taxi. Um, could have been, but... <laughs> Fucking taxi. No. They, they never park in a car park. <laughs> it's behind some garages somewhere. Um, no, they did one in Blue Water car park once. No, they didn't. No yeah. way. Did they? Yeah. How do you know? Some you guys, that? A lot of them have done it around South East London. A lot of those videos, I think. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Can't confirm or anything. But there's not enough storytelling in those for me anyway. No. You need some background. Anyway, so so there was a TV show. <laughs> so a, but you yeah, can't remember the TV show. I can't show. remember the TV show, but I'd watch this thing, and there was a car chase scene which had gone down these streets. Yeah, and, and that's how I, that's how I knew where it where it was. Oh, fair enough. Hmm. I don't know. Yeah, there's nothing. He hasn't given us enough context to try to think of the no, show. No, I, he just said it's shot in Manchester no, or something. Yeah, to be fair, my opening line was this story would be better if I knew the name. It wouldn't be much better. It wouldn't be much better. I'm sorry, all right. 
<laughs> anyway, let's have a word about Coronation Street. <laughs> uh, speaking of Kerry Godleman, though, I uh, have recently rewatched Afterlife. You, you ha- said you haven't seen it. I, I've seen the first season. All right, not not a real fan then, is he? But... No, but do you want to say what I said before then? What did you say before? I I, I basically couldn't watch it because I, I was, it was it was quite emotional. Oh, for I me fucking want to make that again. <laughs> That's it. So it's like. <laughs> But now, know. like, do you know what I mean? That was. Yeah, I, could, that was I, could now, get over I could probably watch it now. Yeah, but it's, just, it's, really, having... it's really good. It is really good. Like genuinely. Yeah. Do you, okay. You might not be able to answer this because I don't think you're a true fan. This is going to be more for maybe me and Jono. True fan. <laughs> what is Ricky Gervais's? And forget the um, stand-up comedy, but what is Ricky Gervais's best oh, sitcom? No, it's stand-up comedy, probably. Um, animals. No, I literally just said the word. Also, that's, also that's not his best one. Also, that's not his best one. In your opinion. It's fine. Everyone knows it's fine. Fine. It's fine. Um, I, don't know. I think his first his first new one was my favourite. It's a TV show, because you've gone to comedy shows. No, no, no you fucking <laughs> confused everyone. So I'm saying about TV show, and you've gone, uh, fame or... Oh, for me, for you me, don't even know them. For me, it was the English Office. Oh, no, that's, the English that, Office? That, yeah, I loved it. I, I absolutely loved it. I think Extras is... I think Extras is mine, Extras and I think it is underrated, but I think it is brilliant. Do you know what? I haven't watched Extras f- for a long time, so I could probably I could probably go back and re-watch it. Same. And I you, think it be- Ricky hasn't watched it, because we know for a fact he told us after we talked about this in the yeah. podcast, he said, I've got to be honest, lads, I haven't actually watched. <laughs> uh, and we had a whole conversation about it. Yeah, I just pretended. Um, but I think Extras is my favourite. Okay. Why? Um... I think the problem for me with... I, I like The Office, but I feel like The Office, he was sort of just starting to hone his TV directing, acting skills. Yeah. And it was good, but now I feel like it's sort of overshadowed a little bit by The American Office. Mm, okay. Because The American Office is it is brilliant, yeah. but it wouldn't have been possible without The English yeah. Office, and The English Office will always be one of my favourite yeah. TV shows. But I feel by then, the time it then got to extras, he sort of... There's just scenes in extras that, for me, will be the funniest TV I've yeah. ever watched. In, like, just the fact that Barry from EastEnders, one of your mates, mm. um, was in it. And, like, the scene where he comes out from behind the, the, the thing, dressed as... Is it dressed as the genie? Yeah. And Stephen Merchant's, like... No, sorry, Barry. Like, you could get Barry on here, I think. Oh, I'd love to get Barry. Barry follows me on it. That's what about Barry? He does like Barry Oakey, doesn't he? We could just we say, should oh, go let's to do Barry Oakey. It. Well, we should just say, oh, we're... what we're is not... Barry Oakey? We get Barry Oakey. I don't know what Barry Oakey is. Barry Oakey, but with Barry from EastEnders. That's basically it. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> no, it's that's not. That yeah. is. I promise you, that's it. Yeah. I promise you, that's it. <laughs> what other What other things, what other things could, events could you do with celebrities? Like, other. Probably do like. No, where you got to say so to, yeah, you're you're thinking of Ralph Harris again. <laughs> no, yeah. no, don't think of Ralph Harris. No, no, no. I was trying to think of a minty thing, and I was like, oh, he was a mechanic. You could just do mechanic, and I realised that it's not really a plan. Words, words. It's just it's a word. That's just a word. Wish you didn't say so that. So I think extras. I think extras is, I like is my favourite. Derek's good. Oh. I do like that. The thing is, I like them all. They're all brilliant, mm. but they're all like very different. It yeah. also annoys me with Derek. It annoys me that he was in Broadstairs filming, which was probably yeah. eight minutes from the yeah. house. Was it filmed? Some of it was. Some of oh. it was filmed. They, they, they did All the beach scenes, when uh, they had uh, the day out on the bus, yeah. with, like, with like Kev on the bench. Yeah. <laughs> like, oh. Was he talking about, I don't know what he's talking about, something inappropriate. Um, and then, and now Afterlife. But we talked about this yesterday, because me and Jono, without you, actually went on a really long walk. Um, Some of us have jobs, but that's fine. Yeah, well, we've got jobs. People say it to me all the time, get a job. I've got a fucking job, mate. Cool. Yeah, right, that's it. Back down, get back <laughs> in your fucking basket. Um, but we were talking about what is Ricky Gervais's next. I'd love him to do another sitcom. Mm. Like, he probably won't listen to this, and it's probably not. he's not going to listen to this and think, oh, yeah, I'll, I'll do that then. Cause they, <laughs> but I'll, yeah. I wish he would. Like, surely his yeah, next yeah. progression, because now he's done f- two stand, three stand-ups since... Doing Afterlife, yeah, mm. isn't it? And no, no series, no new series. But he must have something in there. I don't, I don't know whether he's got the, he's got the eight, the want or the yeah. need to. Like, I can imagine it's quite a long stand-up. You're writing something for an hour and a half, which you're then going to reproduce on 
different stages every night and do the yeah, same thing. Yeah. Whereas actually yeah. committing to a two or three series, that's a that's a two or three I'll year think, process yeah. that you're that you're committing I to. I also think people form stronger opinions on T V shows. Like do you get what I mean? Like with with stand up and stuff, you can mm. tell you can have a stand up show and some of the jokes be shit, but some of them be good and people remember yeah. the good ones. Whereas if a whole show it doesn't if it doesn't do well, yeah, and it's like Afterlife was his probably last one that that he's done. He might do others, but it went down relatively well, but probably not down not as well as the others. I think. Don't think Afterlife, you did not think it was his, it, like biggest show on Netflix for about three years. But yeah, yeah, yeah but, but don't think, get, audiences have grown and grown over no, years. No, that, that's so what I'm saying. So it's. But I feel like it's the same reason why Frankie Boyle gave up comedy. No, I think that's. He gave up comedy, has he? I'm pretty sure he did. I just think he wasn't allowed on BBC. Didn't he go on the BBC and they commissioned him to do... He wouldn't know. He ain't got a TV licence. Oh, yeah, you wouldn't know. But he was on... <laughs> wasn't he on, like... He, he, he had, like, a four-part on, like, BBC or something. It was channel, it was like channel, it was channel or 4. Channel 4. He did it on Channel 4. And then he'd done the Katie Price joke. And mm-hmm. then... And then they cut it. They, they cut. Like, no. They cut it, yeah. and there he's now. Well, I just... I, yeah, I don't know. Maybe he still, uh, still does. But do you know what I mean? Like, people's people's taste changes and the world changes it's like now he might just think well I've done enough it's, it's all good I guess that's personal because yeah. Jimmy then, Carr has just released a new one and his his jokes and his the way his mannerisms are are exactly the same as when he first started doing and people yeah. still watch it it's still a Netflix special yeah. yeah I would like him to I'd love him have to have you ever seen any comedy live live comedy yeah. Oh, I think you actually we have we have We've done this on the podcast. Sorry, we yeah, have because yeah. you've been to comedy clubs. Yeah, but not. Oh, I've not been to a comedy club, but shows. I've been to like. Yeah. Yeah, a specific comedian. Yeah. I've yeah, been yeah. to this. Basically, is that the same. Basically, yeah, the same. The same. Basically, some jokes are good. Some jokes are shit. <laughs> mainly, yeah. mainly yours. Um, because <laughs> he, he's had a good day. He's had a couple of laughs. Yeah. Out yeah. Of us. No. Yeah. Yeah. He's getting a bit too big for his boots now. Well, well. Yeah. I have, I have. That's the thing. What what people don't realise is that not probably ninety percent of the good jokes that you've ever said down and wrote by me. So, so it's not just a good day. I'd probably say a good career, really. I've had. I don't know if that's strictly true, though. No, it's not. It's not true. Yeah. Oh, you wrote his earlier stuff, didn't you? That was it before I came, <laughs> before I was around. No, because what we do, we used to have little writing sessions where I'd have to come up with ideas, mm. and then we wouldn't use any of your stuff. Yeah. Yeah, now but we felt sorry for you. It's like, oh, bring him now. We didn't feel sorry for you. It was all part of the process because what would happen is I would say something and you'd be like, oh, that's not funny, but we could do this. Mm. Or you would say something and John would be like, oh, oh we could do this. And we still do that now. That's part of the process. Works, yeah. I mean, that's part of the yeah. process. No, definitely. But all the, like, the really funny ones are the ones that I write. Name one. I could name two Go from on, today. Then. Oh, from today? Yeah. Spoiler, you can't oh, do a spoiler oh, right? Yeah. Oh, okay. okay, well, touche, you've got me. <laughs> <laughs> but, 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 so you don't know if they're funny yeah, they're, my, seen no reaction. they're funny or any of my biggest hits <laughs> I don't know what you would call them I'm biggest sorry, videos what would you call them I can take that great hits out alright Robbie like, okay. in 20 years I'm doing some of my best stuff here's me hiding a dildo in the gym bag you can't mention it oh, you know, his name cease and desist <laughs> you won't though you'll forget oh the cease and desist yeah yeah, yeah and then <laughs> you'll be like oh um, I need to cut all of this so I just don't yeah because I can't because of the solicitors <laughs> <laughs> Are you just joking? leave, just no, leave that me, in. I had to say, so it's not me. I can say whatever the fuck I want. Oh, but I had to send the cease and desist. For, <laughs> to who? Well, you can't say it. I can't, I can't say it. But did you? Well, actually... I can say it, but I'm, but I won't say it because I'm not giving anyone any airtime. That have you ever sent the cease? Well, I wouldn't and give any fat cunts airtime. <laughs> well, that? well, you've given us two quite a lot. <laughs> All right, I'll change the joke. I've already given two fat cunts enough airtime. Yes, there you go. <laughs> And on that note, that's the season two <laughs> premiere. Oh, what a blast. We hope- no, okay, we're not doing it. Gonna do- the blast bit is not going to make it. I hope you enjoyed the episode. <laughs> we hope you enjoyed this week's episode. It's not oh, sorry. I hope you enjoyed this week's episode. We, you do or we do? Do we all hope that they did or did just you hope? We hope that you enjoyed this week's episode. <laughs> if you did enjoy it, please give it a like, a share, a follow, anything. Tell your nan. Or your dad. So, probably not you though, Ricky. Just because he's dead. (laughs) But thanks for watching.